What up guys, Deep3 here with another Deep3 Reviews. You see a different setup today, it's just a white wall. I've got a white light so the product won't look as bad. What are we opening today? It is gonna be a jersey, you know what I'm saying? Today is game five of the NBA Finals, Lakers versus Heat, who you got? I think it ends tonight, Lakers win by like 14 points. LeBron's gonna triple double this boy up. Let me know who you guys got in the comments section below. And without further ado, we are checking out jerseys today from DH Gate. I've already opened up the packages. They took about a month and a half to get here. If you are wondering about the prices, these jerseys vary in price between $12 to $20. That's including the shipping, not the tax though. So if you are looking online yourself and searching for them, uh, these are the price points where these jerseys are at and that's what you'll see from the quality of these jerseys today Without further ado, I already ripped open the packages. So I guess I'll just start off with The ones that I have on hangers. Let's do that first. First up We've got the classic yellow Lakers jersey Kobe Bryant himself You know, he just passed away earlier this year rest in peace so naturally I had to get a Kobe jersey that's the back you saw the front already get you guys a close-up look of it with the tags Take this bad boy off the hanger and you'll see that there are some NBA tags and a dry fit logo on here there's a wish patch as well as a Nike swoosh that is stitched in as well as the Lakers logo stitched in We've got the purple stripe down the side and on the back of course we have the NBA logo down the middle Bryant on the back number eight stitched on as well it looks really nice quality of it feels very nice I do not feel uncomfortable wearing this at all extremely comfy also forgot on the bottom it there it is uh the logos down here it says over here kobe signature five stars so I, i'm assuming that represents the rings a date and also this little uh, nba tag if you guys want to see what the jerseys look like at the end of the video you can just fast forward on over to that and it'll just show me wearing all of them next jersey up of course, we've got the Mamba Day, number 24, also a Kobe jersey. It has that snakeskin texture, as you can see, in the black and yellow. It looks really, really nice, of course. Again, stitched on, Nike swoosh. Wish, also stitched on. You can see the reflection of the snakeskin from the light, as well as the stitched on Lakers and number 24. Extremely clean. Very symmetrical, very nice looking. Again on the bottom, we have the engineered tag from Nike here. And just to let you know, I bought all of these from different sellers. So keep that in mind uh, when you're looking this up yourself. Quality is just gonna depend on the price. Although, from all of these different price points, I haven't seen much of a difference in quality, to be completely honest. There are a few flaws here and there. Uh, one of them would be like on the number 8 Kobe tag. You'll see like on the bottom of the stitching above this patch here. It's a little bit offset and not straight, but that's perfectly fine. For a price like this, I have no problem wearing this out on a basketball court, because I know it's only, you know, 20 or so dollars. You can beat it up, you can wear it casually, you don't have to worry about it being damaged. So, if we've got number 8 and also number 24, what jersey do you think is next? Well, it's still number 24 because I have an extra one. This is how it comes packaged in a little square here. The other two are the first ones I've opened. I actually wanted to get an extra one, you know, just to either give as a gift or maybe I'll resell this one. I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one yet. But here's the actual next one. It is a purple Lakers jersey, of course. I am a fan of this player, we'll say the least. I followed them since forever. Let's rip the bag open. Where is it? Deal. Next one up is Lakers 23. You know who he is. He's in the finals right now. LeBron James. In the purple this time, because I wanted one of each color. Of course. This is the yellow and white variant. Keep in mind there is also the, uh, I mean, purple and yellow and white. Keep in mind there is a purple version of this jersey, but with like a black outline on the Lakers and the 23. I decided to go with this one. It looks a little bit different. And I just wanted some variety, you know. I already have the black Mambo one, so why not have some white on this jersey anymore? So. Same thing here. Nike uh, dry fit tag. Pretty shocking that they have it on all of these. Quality, again, feels very soft, very breathable, thin. Stitched on swoosh in white. Stitched on Wish logo because that's their sponsor. At the bottom, same thing again. And then we have the Lakers also stitched on. And on the back. Again, more of the same. And I made sure to buy, you know, all of these jerseys, not only just for myself, for review, but also to show you guys that, you know, different sellers, not a really big difference in quality. They're all coming from the same place. So when you are looking these things up, keep in mind, price point's probably the most important thing. The more you pay, the better the quality. In the case of jerseys, uh, not too big a difference. So, I've shown you four jerseys so far from Lakers teams. So, what do you think the last one is? Last two. I have two more. If you guessed it was a blue jersey, and if you guessed it was Luka Doncic, then you are a psychic. If you don't know, I am also a Luka Doncic fan. Thought this one would be an interesting jersey to get. I wanted a jersey from a blue team, if that makes sense. And also, Doncic is an amazing player. You know, he did great this playoffs. Thought he was very inspirational to watch. I do like pass first players, and he's so crafty when he's playing out there. Number 77's over there, down at the bottom, offset. Also, the, uh, I guess this is their sponsor. Another Nike swoosh on the opposite side. Same tags as always. And then Dallas also stitched in similar to all the other jerseys. I'm giving a little bit of smell. It smells a little bit toxic compared to the other ones, but it'll go away. Yeah, it's not like so unbearable like other products I've purchased in the past. But I can notice the smell. So you might want to let this one breathe out for a bit. And then we have on the back also another Nike uh, NBA logo on the top, and then Doncic on the back with the 77s. Looks really clean, symmetrical, of course. The uh, little symbols on the top there, the, the accents for his name. I'm not exactly sure if that's the way it looks or not, but it looks pretty accurate to me. I've never looked at it up close, so what am I to say? As long as it's symmetrical, right? On the sides, it's just like a white trim. All good. Now, for the last jersey, this one is more so because right now I'm on the East Coast and I'm hoping this player is going to make an insane comeback. Uh, you know, I don't like how he is so much off the court, but on the court his game is undenied. Uncle Drew himself. It is a Brooklyn Nets jersey. I know he is always plagued by injuries, but I love his street style of play, I love his handles, I love his swag, and I like how funny he is in the dank, dank memes, let's be real. He helped LeBron win a championship, so I had to watch him real close. 
So that's why I can appreciate his game. I hope he does really well on the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, again, same, same tags. Their sponsor, Nike stitched on the other side as well. Brooklyn logo down the middle. Actually looks pretty sick. I'm not a huge Brooklyn Nets fan, but you know, they've got KD and stuff also. So it's gonna be a great season, interesting season more like it actually. Who knows, they might be clashing during the season. Don't quote me on that. Uh, this side, not so much going on. This side we have some uh, stars or something over here. Yeah. Some stars or some type of uh, accent on that side. On the back, same as the other jerseys. NBA logo. Down the middle, centered perfectly. Same thing with the name and the number. Stitching. You see no errors or flaws there. Looks symmetrical. Doesn't look crooked. Either I'm lucky or they just do a good job on these. So to end it off, I'll show you guys what it looks what they all look like on. These are all size XL, I believe. Large or XL. I'll have to double check that myself. As always, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. I will continue to bring out that sweet, sweet content for you guys. And you can catch the B-roll of me wearing all these jerseys right now. Peace, y'all.